All right, so this demo is going to show you how to edit a split screen in Adobe Rush. So what we're going to do here is start a new file. I have a couple files already uploaded, so I'm just going to select those. All right, so I have my files uploaded into Rush, and what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to switch to my mode where I can see my audio and my video layers. So um, what I've kind of done is I've filmed my space, and you can see I've got a good just mixture of camera angles and, and kinds of shots and movements. Um, so just how do I start layering this up to work for split screens? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video file and drop it up on top. So in Rush, we only have four different layers of video that we can use. If you were using Premiere Pro, you could do up to you know 20 or 30 layers. So just looking at this real quick, we already have two layered up. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull this one down if it'll let me. And I'm gonna go onto this one. I'm gonna hit my transform tool and let's see what we can do here. So number one, you could do a split screen by just moving and that's gonna actually crop your image, right? So you're gonna only see a portion of it. But say we wanna, we wanna see, um, see half of it um, and without moving it off. What we can do is go down to advanced and we're gonna slide the left over to the right or maybe the other way, we'll slide the right over so we can see the hand. Now for this bottom one, maybe we do a triple screen here. So what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm actually going to go to my scale. I'm gonna shrink this shot up and then I'm gonna remove this by using horizontal position and vertical position into place. Now you could do this where you have no gap between the video. All right, I'll show you another one where you can create gaps. I'm gonna go ahead and pull, oops. Pull this shot up on top, all right. I'm gonna go in here and also do some speed. Let's slow that clip down just so it matches, all right? And then this clip I'm gonna go into and I'm going to crop it as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this into position by using my horizontal and vertical positions. And maybe I want this to be a little bit bigger, so. I'm gonna crop the, blow that scale up a little bit and move it into place. All right, that looks good. All right, and now I have just a really simple split screen. Now, a couple of things you can do here. We can go into our color, and all right, I was going with black and white because I thought that looked uh, kind of fit for my uh, visual idea here in this room. Um, and then you can see that looking pretty good you know you could also go into your edits and you can manually bump down uh, saturation or play with contrast what have you your exposure and stuff so those are also options for you as well um, another thing you could do is do a split screen which is horizontal so instead of cropping from the left and right we could crop from the top and bottom so I'm just shrinking this up and so in this case we'll take this shot and we'll click on our transform and we'll just crop from the top of this one. Right. You know what? I think that shot looks better with the bottom cropped because I like seeing the icons there. And I could go 50%. I could go less. I could also double tap on that number and manually go and edit that. So if I wanted exactly 50, I could I could go ahead and enter that. All right. But kind of looks uh, kind of looks cool because that it almost perfectly lines up there with how I crop the uh, bottom icon list there. So I think that's looking pretty good. Um, what else can we do here? Uh, we could get really crazy. And so this next shot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer some shots up and we're gonna rotate them. So I'm gonna go here to my top one. I'm gonna go back to my transform and I'm going to rotate. And I'm then gonna move this into position Okay, let's try it. Let's get crazier. All right, so I'm going to have that one there. We'll have this one. I'm going to rotate that one as well. Now, again, I could match that because maybe I want it exactly 45 degree angle. Okay, I'll double click there and change that exactly 45. Okay, the only bad thing about this is it, it is a little bit, whoops, it is a little bit more difficult to move when you're using the horizontal and vertical positioning. So, All right, so I'm going to bring this one up and drop this one up at the top. And all right, this guy I'm gonna rotate as well. And maybe I'll even shrink this one up. And let's see, where do I want this one to be in? Oops, I'm not gonna do that. I wanna match that rotation to exactly 45, so double click on the zero. and then I'm gonna go ahead and move that into place. Where do I want that one? This is where it gets really tricky is when I'm trying to move this stuff. 
So definitely takes a little bit of playing around and getting used to. Uh, let's scale that up just a little bit. I wish here I could just grab the video and slide it with my finger, but it won't let me do that. So kind of in a tough place a little bit there. All right, so that looks kind of cool. And again, instead of going like straight on angles, now I'm going uh, slanted kind of rotated angles. The only thing I would probably correct here is maybe it looks like one of these is not perfectly 47, it should be 45. All right, so there's a couple different ways that you can do split screens and uh, ways that you would be able to edit and kind of you know get creative with multiple video clips and layering.